beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl patty tis backers and i'm back at it again today with a new video straight from my house in the uk so guys as you can see in the title this video is going to be succinct and straight to the point 10 things i wish i knew or 10 things you should know as an international student in the uk and i really hope this is gonna help someone because i know that a lot of people just resumed for the january intake and these were the things i wish i knew earlier or some of the things i knew that really helped me with my academic journey in the uk if you guys want to know about my academic journey please make sure you watch the other videos make sure you subscribe like oh god i can't i don't know how to do this youtube thing anymore it's, it's been a while so excuse me anyway just try and watch the old videos and catch up with me so one thing the first thing i want to tell you one thing everybody should know or one thing i wish i knew as an international student my first time in the uk is that it is okay to get help ask for help ask for help in every way academic help personal health just make sure that you have asked for help the it's such a misconception that a lot of people do not know that they have a lot of help that they can use especially as you know academic help and quite a lot of people do not assess that help and it could affect your academic journey in the country so in this case like uh when you come into uni you know especially like say coming from africa our education system are quite different and you'll be surprised that you know you didn't know that you can get this much help do you know that there are people in your library that can actually read your work what you've written and tell you like oh my dear i don't think you're on the right path there are people that you could say can you read this for me there are, there's just so much there are people that you can talk to and say i'm not really very good with research can you do this for me so a lot of people do not know that there is this kind of help so one of my first advice is make sure that you ask for academic help it is okay you're coming from a different continent the education system is quite different so it's okay if you know your first class you're like what is going on and a lot of people from the first class of the first lecture you know and when the lecturer is showing them their coursework or something like that they're like oh my god i'm gonna fail oh my god how am i gonna start oh my god this this and the fear alone has already made a lot of people fail before they start not knowing that there's so much help if you don't feel comfortable asking your lecturers or whatever ask go to the people that are dedicated to work to help you go to the info point say is there anyone that could help me is there if i need academic help is there anyone that could point me in this right direction i didn't know that someone could read my work for me it was one it was even my second semester with one lecturer then then she was like there are people in the library that can actually read for you so that you know if you're even on the right track or not you know sometimes you understand things this way you know anyway so i'm gonna say make sure you ask for help and this help also in like communities like you know i know i used to always say that make sure that you try to find a community for yourself oh my god this video is going to be painfully long i'm sorry i like to explain myself i said it was going to be succinct but it doesn't look like it is but also you know i used to say if you watch my old video make sure that you get a community ask for help because there's going to be a lot of information and you're in this country by yourself it's a new place you probably would not know thing you don't just get down and it's the ground and start running you need to ask for help from people who already knows it my second point or advice or thing i wish i knew is was was to get a study group make sure these are academic tips the first tips i'm gonna give is academic tips so that you know that's one of the reasons why we are here make sure that you get a study group you would definitely need it and this study group is also because of first of all you guys motivate yourself secondly you share ideas you know because it's very very easy to lack motivation here especially as a student when you start you know working and then you have classes and you just don't have that time to go back and read and understand your size assessment understand the question or even understand what your lecturer is saying so that could be difficult for you and that's one of the reasons why i will advice that you should have a study group this is one of the things that really helped me academically i had a study group i had friends you know mine was eric that just was like i was and i'm so grateful to god that he actually reached out to me and said oh Yina, do you want to be in our group and i'm like definitely i want to be in your group you even sound you seem like someone that even knows what he's doing this guy has already had like his master's done in nigeria 
as at then i was struggling i was just always asking questions in the class because if i didn't understand i asked questions you know like do you want to be in my study group and i took that opportunity and that really helped me daisy will call me oh yeah please come to the library we need to do it. and i'm like oh, i said just get your ass to the library now and we study we you know we try to understand the question we research together we find ideas and by the time we you know everybody gets the idea you go out to write your report you go out to write your assessment you come back with an a you know and then you it's that really helps so i would advise one of the things you need to know is to get a study group number three now the third thing is when you get into the country i wish i knew this quickly but make sure that you start looking for job immediately especially if you want to work on campus make sure that as looking for a student job your 20 hours job please so make sure that you start looking for it immediately it can take a while for you to get a job it can take i know you know a lot of people probably have friends or you know people and you come in you just want to catch up first which is really good but i would advise make sure that you get your bank account open the first day you come make sure that you apply for your ni quickly and make sure that you start applying for job try to recreate your cv when you get in i know a lot of us brought our cvs from nigeria even though as students you don't need so much experience for a lot of you know many are jobs that you might do but still your cv still has to like be curated to the way it is in the uk so you might want to go to the internet browse and see what a cv in the uk looks like and just try to make sure that you create that cv to your um to whatever job it is you're looking for the third thing now i used to say it, here in this country it, things are in stage by stages you move from one stage to the other I think I'm going to do an elaborate video on, on this, on how to get a job in the UK. But when I spoke to like at least four or five graduates that I met, black and Asian people in different com companies and especially also in my own company, and I was like, how did you guys get the, this job? How did you know about this? And what they, they told me is they started applying immediately they got into the uk they started applying for their graduate role for internship because the thing is when you get when you get to the when uh you know the thing is immediately after you you start getting the pressure because is it that you apply for your post study or you know you want a sponsorship or even if not any of that immediately you finish uni of course you want to start working you want to get into the professional setting and you realize that they th start telling you you need at least one year experience six months experience so it's not only in nigeria they ask you for 25 years experience every country always wants someone with experience anyway if, if you're gonna get the job i want to know that you know how to do it so instead of that quickly as uh, immediately you're in uni start applying for internship start applying for graduate roles this really help you know so when these are the things that i really wish i knew quickly and at lucky for me i knew you know maybe three months later and it worked for me so especially for the people that are just starting their january intake please start applying this was like the most collective agreements that everybody that i asked how they got their graduate role or job in the company they told me they started applying since they got into the country they were applying for internship just to get experience and that's one thing that i think everyone needs to know so you need to start applying you might get a lot of rejection you might but at least you're even in the professional world and anyway we'll make another video that's gonna be a long one the third or fourth i don't know what number i am now is please ingest good news it is very easy to get it oh god make sure that you connect yourself to positive news there's a lot of bad news going on there's a lot of people that will tell you it's impossible oh it's impossible to pass oh it's impossible to get a good job oh it's impossible to do this oh you can't get that house oh you can't get this oh you can't get that oh blah 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 oh the system is hard you have to do this you know no no try and connect yourself to good news this is one thing that really helped me for my academic journey i w i kept watching chidera and onye neyo i think they both had distinction and i kept reminding myself if these two ladies can have it i'm going to have it i do not care about like oh it's sad oh you know there are courses that people feel that it's like 
you just have to feel that because oh people doesn't do well and i tell myself there are people that really did 70 there are people that scored eight in this i I'm, I'm going to pass it all those people feel that's your problem i connect because it's very very easy to hear bad news like especially immigration news now if you watch like oh they want to deport people blah 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 why not connect to people that actually didn't get deported why not there are a lot of good news out there you just it's very easy for us to connect to the bad news it's very easy because bad news has just has a way of spreading itself it speaks for itself oh my god you don't even need to look for it it will come to you but you need to be positive you need to have a positive mindset it's very very easy to be depressed here yeah, it's very very easy to you know a lot of people be like oh my god people got in trouble for this oh my god this doesn't work oh my god and truly they're not lying a lot of bad things do happen but also a lot of good things do happen so connect yourself to positive news this is one that i if you watch me i tell them i connect i do not but i don't like bad news i don't don't bring it close to me when i'm checking my instagram when it's too much when i just see some headlines i just move past i do not want to know as long as it's not like maybe a legal thing that i have to do something you know maybe they are changing like a law like say oh okay we used to allow people to spend five pound now but now you have to spend ten pound those are kind of like okay this is like information that i need to make sure that i'm a law and abiding citizen but any bad news that it's not like a news that it's not approved yet a news do not worry yourself about those kind of things our heart has our mind has a way of manifesting bad things so you need to connect yourself to good news connect to people that have had this testimony people that have done it they did it you can do it that's why i tell you, if this person can get it through the help of god i can do it also yeah so the next thing i think this is going to be point five i guess please make sure you get your driver's license while you're still studying either your pro at least this is one thing i wish i knew this is one thing that i regret not doing now i do not have my driver's license yet i just had have the provisional and a lot of time jobs especially professional jobs they need you to be able to drive a lot of jobs will ask you to drive and even driving is not like a luxury here sometimes it's just a necessity because you're waiting for the bus in the cold sometimes bus doesn't come to and you know you have to resume work by eight and your boss is messing you up or something although you know it's not very rampant but i feel like it is something you need to get me personally i regret not getting my driver's license early enough and i so i think if you get in at least the provision provisional driver's license apply for it first you know apply for the provisional driver's license because you have to take the driving test you have now i don't have time to read for the driving test or i mean the theory or even the driving because i just do not have the time and i really i've been praying to god like i just really need help to get the time to do that so i think that that's one thing i think everyone should be aware of especially if you did not come in with your international driver's license and even if you did come with your international driver's license there's probability that it's going to expire soon and i think you can use this for just one year so you still need to apply for your provision and also the driving and trust me guys the driving test is not very easy so you would have to study for that and practice and you need to do it really quickly because when you start work you probably wouldn't have that time to take those tests or start learning so that's one thing i think everyone should know so this advice i'm actually not very i'm confident in it because it helped me but i do not know especially if you're not really good with your finances if you're not good with money but another help that a lot of people do not know is you could get a credit card and this can also help you start building your credit score in the country so try and get a credit card even if it is just one thousand two thousand limit and but please make sure that you spend responsibly so if you know you're not good with credit because if you do not pay well or you spend not really good like it's going to show that you're in a financial crisis and you probably would just mess up your credit score so this advice think about it make sure that you you watch more and you learn more about your credit card you know but it is something that is available and some days maybe when you just need to quickly like pay an hundred bucks before your salary comes in or you need to just quickly buy something this could really help you and i'm gonna i don't know i don't know the numbers now but i'm gonna think i'm number seven travel Tra please travel this is one of the things i'm happy that i did this is one of the things i'm really grateful that i did because now also i've gotten a job i'm more busy now if i want to travel i have to like 
be looking at my calendar and know the days that i'm actually free and it's just like oh my god and i'm really glad that i did travel to europe as a student i think i went to like four to five countries in the in the one year <laughs> and yeah that's it so one thing you should do please travel as a student it's going to be very easy for you to get a european visa especially when you quickly when you just come in so it's very easy for you to get it let's say you came in in september you can apply in january february you still have like one year on your prp and you know they know you're always gonna come back but if you're like you came in in september and you're now applying in say august when uni says you finish in september they might feel like oh, okay you're gonna finish anyway you probably won't come back although they would usually give you but it's always nice to apply quickly earlier in the day and it is not expensive to travel to europe trust me you can get flights for as cheap as 50 pound 60 pound 70 pound i don't know i've shown you guys videos about that also like check my videos about traveling uh traveling on budgets you know how i do it i don't know if i do like a budget travel sometimes i'm not really i go how i go a lot how but you know you can travel on a budget i've really helped a lot of people get their schengen visa hey god now that i'm saying it if anybody come and contact me i'll collect money from you because all the, there's one lady that i helped i helped that book her flight and everything and she got to the airport she forgot something she just started calling my life this is one of the reasons why i don't want to be a travel agent she just started first calling me and say hey god hey god but anyway i have helped quite a lot of other people and i just really think that it is one of the experience you should travel as a student you need it you need to wind up you need to you know no and the, the ninth one i would assume make sure that you make friends you would need people on your side you need friends this country can be very depressing and it's very easy for you to just be lonely be yourself in the room there are days that even i as much as i do not have so much friends i just have my youtube community and a lot of you are online and i just have only one one friend or two friends in the uk and it's just Geraldine. and now we are not even in the same city so we have to call ourselves and i'm just trying to make friends in this new city so it's kind of like difficult and trust me you need to have friends there's nothing like oh i'm not i'm not an outgoing person of course i'm not saying like you should go out every time but sometimes you might just need someone in the uk that you need to tell like oh what's the new information what's the new because you need to always know you need to always be aware you need to always gather information from yourself and you know i think this is something that you need and also make sure that you have fun a lot of us work i don't want to say this but not to scare anybody but i know that i love you i've have heard people have died while working people are stressed out people unwind for god's sake please i know it is not easy but trust me uh emito jegbe seloma so i don't know how to explain this thing you that debt you paid but try to rest try the rest unwind you need it this country there's not so much vitamin d your bones get weaker it's cold you're not used to it you just came in your body is not gonna adjust so naturally alone your body is even tired because you're exposed to this vitamin your bones are strong and you're doing jobs especially maybe as i say you're working as a carer or you're working out with like a warehouse you're handling everything your body is gonna wear out you need to i have a friend i friend this is not like i heard this is my friend his friend collapsed at his house because of too much work a student like like us you know stress it's not even like he was doing more than 20 hours or 30 no it was stress of work and uni and you know having to take the bus or having to walk from his house to the bus stop and all those things those all those things affected his bone the cold and everything it collapsed and he, my friend could have gotten in trouble if he died but thank god he came back to that before they do the investigation and stuff how maybe they would think something they had a fight or something he's a black guy before you know it they could have taken him to jail but we thank god that he actually got back up and they realized that he was stressed and try the rest try the rest for god's sake this is one thing i wish i had i mean i even me i even used to rest you people go go do me i like enjoyment i must rest i have to rest because i cannot come and keep myself there are days that we don't have more than 100 pounds in my account and i'm like mm, there's life i have energy i would make the money back i would work and make my money but this week i'm just gonna rest you know so i think this is something that we all need to know rest have fun make friends have days that you just feel like you love nigerians you go out you see that you know 
British people are outside with friends, having a drink, going for coffee breaks and all that. But we we are just always working. It doesn't take anything. How much is beer? How much is a pint of beer? Just go out and drink with your friends. Just go out and do whatever it is you want to do. Go out and eat. Order a pizza. Go. Just go see something. There are a lot of signs saying to do that. You don't even have to pay. Just take a walk with your friends. Geraldine and I, when we were in Bristol, we just go out to sit by the Bristol Bay like this water thing. We just sit there. We do not really get to spend a lot. We just buy burritos of five, seven pounds. And we feel refreshed and you know we feel refreshed we come and we move on to the next day that's like this, i really wish a lot of people know please don't stress yourself too much it's very easy to get into the hula hoops of this country and you just start working 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 and it's not only us even uh, you know people that have been here british people get worn out get tired out and it just it's just really sad you know that this is what happened to a lot of us so i think that this is something really important that and lastly this is one thing i wish i knew and i i'm glad i knew and i really hope everyone knows do not forget god please get closer to god please get closer to god this is the only thing that is constant in our life god is the only one that lives with you from nigeria from asia from india from wherever it is you're coming and it comes with you because it lives in us the holy spirit lives in us this is the only thing you get to carry along with you this is your first friend everywhere so please make sure that you get closer to a lot of people come into the country and because of the stress because of the work you forget to go to church you forget to pray you get like oh things are working because things really work if you do the right thing you get the right thing but still you need to always make sure that you put god first get closer to god this is not your father's land you're in a, a new man's land you're in a new place you need him now more than ever you need direction a lot of people have gotten into trouble a lot of people have made bad friends a lot of people have ha, things have happened you know but what i would just advise is please make sure that your relationship with god never goes down and if you never had a relationship please make sure that you have more